Hi everyone, um, today I've got another box review for you and it's a scroller box and it's, it looks like this, it's cool and um, I contacted them because I got some feedback from you guys about Sketchbox especially um, people in the UK that um, were disappointed that it cost so much to send overseas so I contacted Scrollerbox and I found out about them and um, I saw that they put things like Copic markers in sometimes, they put in alcohol based markers, they put in um, stuff like that and I thought that was kind of cool and then I contacted them and said like can I do a video for you guys because I got feedback etc etc and yeah they were happy enough to send me two boxes um, so this is really exciting actually so um, scroller box is based in the UK and it costs um, at most I think it's 15 pounds a month but if you get like a year subscription it costs less um, it's free shipping within the UK which is good and if you notice the box is really thin um, which for people in the UK you should know this is really good because this means Royal Mail won't leave you a message on your doorstep saying come and get it in a few days whenever you want um, it can fit through your letterbox it's, it's like a large letter size so it will fit through I presume most UK letterboxes which is so good because um, you know what it's like to have a package left Royal Mail don't always like you know go out of their way to make sure their thing is delivered to you so there you go that's a real plus for me like personally I thought that was fantastic I got a really nice overall welcome feeling from the company and I just like to say I'm not actually getting paid to do this I contacted them I wanted to do this video for them and uh, I was really happy that they were so positive in their response and here I am so um, I'm going to show you both boxes I've got October and November's box and I've already had a sneak peek you can see that they're open I couldn't, I couldn't um, resist. So, you can see the box brown, it has scroller box written on it, and on the back is my address, which you guys aren't going to get to see. And I tried to repackage these as nicely as I could to show you what it's like. So it comes in tissue, has a little sticker that keeps, it does keep it shut. I've opened it, don't forget. And then you get a postcard with a featured artist, who I will talk about in a second. And then um, you also get like something to work on with the supplies that you get and that's what I really liked about this actually it was kind of cool so there's the picture which is kind of cool it's very um, not abstract but really kind of surreal I really like that and then there's the information on the bottom so yeah I really like that actually it's very cleverly done and then this is just a Winsor & Newton um, watercolor postcard you get it wrapped in tissue, which is so cute, and I like the colour. So you get a bookmark shaped thing inside, and it tells you what's in it. These are really nicely printed as well. <laughs> um, you get a bookmark telling you exactly what's in it, but I won't spoil it too much yet. And then you get a scroller challenge, which tells you... Um, each month, Scrollerbox provides you with a selection of art supplies and inspirations, but we also want to boost your creativity. So we're also giving you a challenge word or phrase that can be interpreted in any way you wish. Why not see if you can create something using only the supplies in this box? Good luck, and don't forget to share your creations with the hashtag ScrollerChallenge. And this, and October's challenge was butterfly. So, we have a Copic Multiliner. These are the disposable kind. And it is a 0.05, you can just see that there if it's going to focus. The disposable kind, they are Copic proof, waterproof, really nice pens. We have a Faber-Castell watercolour pencil in medium flesh. We have a Winsor Newton watercolour marker. We have a Cotman in Viridian hue, a Cotman watercolour, sorry, and it's a tube of watercolour paint. Cotman is the... Um, so there's two types of watercolours that you can get with Winsor Newton and they are um, artists uh, quality and student quality and the student one's called Cotman. They are really good and um, we used to sell them in the art shop that I worked in and they were excellent. I was um, really impressed with them. I actually have a full set of pans of Cotman's as well. And lastly we have one of my favourite things in the whole world, a Zig uh, Brush H2O. In what size is this? Medium. I love these, you know I love these. I turn these into ink brushes. So, oh my god, I actually needed a spare one. Ah, yay! <laughs> and to top it off, I got a lolly as well. How cool is that? It's a Vimto lolly. So I'll probably eat that while I'm drawing. Thank you. So this is a really nice little bundle because you've got some watercolour stuff, but you've also got a fine liner that um, is waterproof so you can do a drawing and then 
which is watercolour inside, which is really cool, so I'm excited. So I've got green and yellow and pink. So yes, that was October's box, and now for November's box, which is the most recent one. And it is chameleon markers. And if you don't know what these are, they are markers that um, you kind of fill them up with like a fluid and they go paler so you can kind of get like um, a spectrum of one, not a spectrum, um, like a, you can get a gradient effect based on how much of the fluid you put into the pen. It's kind of weird, I'll show you how it works. The yellow, what, what colour, summer sun, bisque, and crimson red. So there's the cap, the caps are really clear. They're really big, and one of them is like a mixing chamber. But they feel super heavy and super nice, and I really like them. Um, and then there's also a, presuming this is like a fine liner, chameleon there. And if you, if you can kind of just see down there, it just says detail. The candy is an atomic fireball artificial flavour. That's my favourite flavour. The scroller challenge for November is fireball, so that, I guess that's why we've got the colours we do. And you also get like a practice card, like I said on the other one. Here's a few fireball samples to test out your new colour markers. That's cool. Okay, so I'm going to do two videos now of the um, of using the supplies in two different drawings. So I hope you like that, guys. And if you like Scrollerbox, go check out the link in the description. They are a really nice welcoming company and I'm really excited to do these videos for them. Um, and if you've got any comments or questions, leave them below. And um, if you want to get in touch with Scrollerbox, their details will be below. And thank you again to Scrollerbox for letting me do this. This has been great and I really wanted to do this for my UK fans who wanted an art supplies box. So. Thanks for watching guys, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. Bye. So yes, I actually decided to just do the one drawing because I started doing two different drawings and I tried to use the chameleon markers over a large area and they were really sort of, there is a learning curve to them um, and I don't think they're suitable for large lineless areas. Uh, basically I was trying to do a drawing of a girl with like a fire as her hair, which is funny because um, Doodle Date had the same idea with their scroll box, so um, I guess we're on the same page with that. Um, but I decided not to go ahead with it. I did record it as well, but I just got so frustrated, and it really was like a large area that I was trying to cover, and I just gave up. <laughs> so um, instead of I hadn't started the watercolor piece, so I thought. Well, I'll just do it together and I'll experiment and have fun with all of it rather than just trying to like do two separate drawings. And so I got out my, uh, it's kind of like half the size of A4 but the long half and it's a pink pig sketchbook. Hang on, it's right here. I'll, um, I'll let you know what size it is. It's a 6 by 12 inch um, sketchbook and uh, it's by Pink Pig. And I love their sketchbooks so much. Um, but I really like the size of this one and I make bookmarks with this one. So uh, yeah, so I decided to just use all of the uh, supplies that I had and just go for it instead. So I do a mermaid and I haven't drawn a mermaid in a long time. So I was like, oh no, like get the tail right. And I kind of wanted to give her like weird anatomy like if that makes sense like non like to make her look like less human but it kind of just looks bad <laughs> it just looks like bad anatomy rather than like like strange anatomy so um i kind of let myself down a little bit with that but it's fine i can practice another time um yeah so i drew her with koi fish which are one of my favorite things like I just love the design, not the design, but like the look of koi fish and I would love to own some. I think they're absolutely beautiful and I love drawing them as well. Their colours are just so cute and I thought it would work well with the way the chameleon pens blend and like create different gradients. So yeah, I um, I decided to do koi fish and at first I was going to make her tail like a koi fish but then I was like, I just really want to use that green watercolour tube, um, which I did in the end. And inking with such a fine pen.
pen was oh my god it's so different to what I'm used to now because obviously I used uh, brushes and it's just like going back to that tiny tiny fine liner was just like I didn't know what to do I was so bad with it um, and I, I I like multi liners like fine liners but it's just it's really difficult for me to use them now so I actually um, you don't see it in this video because it's not part of the video but I actually changed the drawing afterwards and I went back in with my Pentel brush pen and made the lines a bit more dynamic and thicker in places. So I, um, yeah, I, I, <laughs> I had to change it. I just had to get my brush pen on it. Um, I just haven't used, I call them static fine liners because they're not like, they don't have a dynamic range of widths. Um, whereas like a brush does. So I kind of call them like static, if that makes sense. I don't know if that makes sense. But um, yeah, so I decided to, to go back in with my Pentel brush pen a little bit later on. Uh, I'm still in the original as well. So um, you can check out my online store if you want to get this original. I might make it into bookmarks later and do like sparkly film on the bookmarks. Uh, but other than that, I'm not going to make a print of it. So if you want to grab it, go and grab it. <laughs> so yeah, it was um, really nice getting supplies that I wouldn't normally go out and buy anyway. I thought they... Um, sorry, <laughs> I was going to yawn then. I'm really tired. <laughs> I, um, I I thought it was a really good way. Like these, these um, art boxes are just a really good way of coming up with things that you probably wouldn't sort of use anyway um like watercolors i'm trying to use watercolors a little bit more frequently at the moment and i'm struggling with pans like half pans i've just got a 72 box of half pans and i can't get vibrant colors from them because i feel like i have to add too much water to them to make them actually work but i'm i'm learning so i found that using tube watercolors i can get like a, a wider range of like pigment from them so but I think tubes are just too messy. I like having the pans. They're really cute and they're just nice to have and they look neat. And so I'll just keep experimenting and see what I can do. Um, I love using water brushes so much. Oh my gosh, just they're just fantastic. And the H2O ones, I reviewed them as ink brushes um, in a previous video. And I actually fill water brushes with ink and make brush pens. And I've got a video, I'll link it in the description. You can go and watch that and um, I just love water brushes so much. I own about six or seven now, which is ridiculous. <laughs> I actually, uh, you can even pick up some really cheap ones on eBay, but yeah, so I've got quite a few. <laughs> so yeah, with the chameleon pens, like once the pale color has run out, you've got to then put it back in the mixing tube. So it just takes a while and I don't want to edit any of this out because I want you to see what the chameleon pens do. I think they're fantastic, it's so clever, but the way that I am now used to using markers, I just wouldn't be able to get used to it now. And I think I, I think it's it's more suited to maybe crafters and people who do stamping rather than like large full illustration pieces. But um, by all means, like try and give them a go if you can. Um, and I love that I had the opportunity to use them with Scroller Box because I wouldn't have gone out and bought them otherwise. And that's, I just, I really like getting supplies every month and sort of just having something different to look forward to each month and just expanding what I'm using instead of like sticking to Copics and sticking to brush pens and like just sticking to what I know and like, staying within my comfort zone because I feel like you don't learn as much if you don't try new things, new and exciting things as much. Um, but it's important to also understand like you can enjoy your comfort zone and it, it's getting the right balance of like experimentation and just enjoyment as well. I really enjoyed using watercolours actually. I'm gonna have to use them a little bit more often and um, just because I feel like I can get quite a really nice range of colour with them. Um, the watercolour markers were really interesting as well actually. I used them in my old uh, job when I had a job at an art shop and they weren't that great. 
and I was kind of like worried about using them this time but they worked really well so I don't know if we just had faulty pens but no they worked really nicely actually so um, the, those are the Windsor Newton watercolour markers I think they are the rebranded aqua markers by Letraset so yeah there she is she's finished um, and thank you for watching guys go and check out scrawler box because they are fantastic and I've got December's box which I'm going to open soon I'm trying not to open it before I have to film it but <laughs> we shall see what we get next month and uh, hopefully I'll do a few more videos on theirs and let me know in the description whether you like this video and whether you'd like me to do more boxes with them and feel free to get in contact with them on their website if you've got questions and go check them out. So thank you for watching everyone and I will see you in my next video. Bye! Also you'll see that my desk is a mess. This is the natural habitat of Jelly Bean. <laughs> Copic Multiliner in... I dropped the box. Can you hear Pixel? Let's have this budgie intermission, shall we? Thanks. We have a Faber-Castell watercolour brush. Uh, 